All right, hey, hey, y'all, it's John, and today we're going to do our monthly update is October 2021, and on this channel, we talk about budgeting, saving, investing, building a life of abundance, and I have laid out to you my three-bucket strategy of index funds to invest in for the long term, where we can all build a life of abundance, where a million dollars or more is not unachievable for the average everyday person with a little bit of discipline. What I did is, as a recap, I have taken $100 of my own money, I put it into a Fidelity investment and my first bucket, which is a S&P 500 index fund, and we're going to track how it does every single month. Now, the commitment I've made to you is as this channel grows, as we get monetized, any money it throws off, at least initially, I'm going to throw into those three buckets and be able to show you every single month how it grows. But let's grab our phone and take a look at the Fidelity account for this month. All right, so we can see here that it's been kind of a rough month. Things have been going down. Initial value was about 108, something like that. Now it's down to a little over 103. And that's okay. Overall, for the year to date, it's up. And this is a long-term view. This is a put my eyes on. This is how the market works, right? And that's a great example. Things go up, things go down, but you continue to invest. You continue to look at the long-term view. You're not interested in what happens in this 24 hours. You're interested in what happens in the next 20, 30, 40 years. I don't care that it's gone down, the S&P 500. There's been a lot of headwinds against the economy I think it's going to go up over the long term. I must say here, uh, I'm required to. This is for entertainment purposes only, and I recommend you consult with a financial advisor. I am not one. I'm telling you what I'm doing with my money, and I believe in S&P 500s. While this fidelity is for your information, me and my wife have other investments largely based around index funds. Exactly the same strategy I'm talking about here today. So while it's down this month in September, yeah, uh, that's okay. That's okay. That means if you're continuing to invest, you're buying lower and if it goes up, you're reaping the benefits. If it goes down from 108 to 103, I don't care because I believe it'll go up to 108 and 116 above that eventually you have to weather the headwinds so not great not what I wanted to see but not terrible and does not throw me off my strategy if you have any questions let me know below appreciate it guys